What up my guys, Beast Mode here. As promised, Johnny Drip Drip, John Morrison. And I'm gonna show you a few different move sets and a few different ways to run them because he has a bunch of seven charge moves and in a few you're gonna need double MP trainers but when you have to use a double MP trainer you lose way too much damage. So it's actually better off taking a turn and then being ready on the second turn. Um, but I'm gonna show you what's what and how he looks, okay? So right off the bat, we're going to use the one charge green super kick, deal 2700 damage, make four random gems into multiple, no, multiply gems of strength five. The one charge blue springboard roundhouse, deal 3600 damage, and you get 15k bonus for every multiply gem. That's humongous. And when you get lucky enough to use it three times in a turn, it's fantastic. But it is so random. That's the only thing I don't like about this move set. You need two blues and a green in a corner twice. And it's just not always happening. And then you got a one, uh, excuse me, a two charge blue. It is level one. It's the spear. I can level it later if I need to. But the choose two by two area to destroy stays the same. So I'm not getting a lot of damage out of it anyway. And I have a 30k flat blue move damage metal on. Okay. So for the Entourage, we're going to run Baylor because at 9k you get 38% multiply gem damage and you create an extra one. Sin Cara, he gives you four more multiply gems. The Miz gives us 15% damage to them all. And I had Rock on here, Memrock. It's actually better with Z-Taker. So it just did more damage because you get an extra multiply gem plus 5%. And Rock gives you the 5%, but he gives you an extra power to the multiplies. And that only helps when you're blowing up the board. And uh, I have an x brake plate on him. So for my strap, I have running him with a 10% all gem damage strap. Double set of furies for another 40% all gem damage. The x brake plate. And then as I went through these... This one right here gives me 4% blue ge uh, gem damage and 22.5% all gem damage. So now we got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 2.5% all gem damage. And then that has blue. This one's just regular 30k flat for the blue moves. And then this one gives me 4% blue gem damage and 4% blue gem damage because he's an acro. And some of the move sets you need it for because you're making a ton of blue gems. All right, so let's get out there and check it out. We're gonna go against the same guy we always fight, a super uh, strapped up Triple H. He's five star silver. We are five star bronze. I like to go against the same guy, so you always get to look at how guys fare up against the same dude. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, you're gonna throw out these multiply gems. And now you're looking for two blues and a green and hopefully not a multiply gem on top. And this is why I do not like this sometimes. We got one, okay, we got mad lucky. So this first move, I think it hits for like 215K. Let's see, 240K damage. With Rock, it was 215. Now it's 230. So Rock, at, or um, Z Taker, Z Taker is better. He just is. So now we need the two blues and the green. Hopefully not cause a cascade. Be great if we had it again, but I don't think we're going to get lucky. Wouldn't matter anyway. We've got a cascade. Okay, so then you can hit it again. I'm going to do this move set until you can see it go off three times on turn one. That's the only time it's super, super strong. Now it's going to hit for double. So now we did 480k. And we cannot break anything else without causing a pin. Well, we're going to break four. So what we could do, check this out. This is what we could do. Hopefully not cause a cascade. We're going to catch one blue, use that move again. And then swipe that other blue. Perfect. Oh, we broke four. I had four. What a goofball. That's my bad. <laughs> I, was, I got a little greedy. <laughs> I got a lot greedy. <laughs> we needed five. <laughs> Goofy. Alright, well this is what it would have looked like if we had one more notch. We had the cascade earlier. I totally overlooked that. Okay, my bad. This is what it would have looked like for the second, uh, the third time on turn one. 
boom, 620K. Now we just finished the match off. Let's do it again. And we're just gonna try to break some uh, cross breaks here. Let's break these down here because they're, they're gonna feed off each other. And he's dead anyway. That was a, a lapse in judgment. <laughs> but it, it works awesome when the board goes the way you want and need it to, but when it doesn't, sometimes you don't even get to do the second cycle of those moves, and that's just unfortunate. You always gotta catch at least one blue, because the uh, blue that breaks the choose area is two charged, so for your next turn, you're gonna have wanting wanted to break one at least. So that was pretty quick, that was a 1.7 mil damage uh, turn two. Which is not bad. This is his best move set by far. I'm going to show you another one that hits really hard. The problem is uh, it's always going to be turn two. Unless you put a double MP trainer on and then you take way too much power away from it. So we need two blues and a green. We don't have it, do we? This is, this is, this is it. Like This is why I don't love this. We can't even hit that um, five multiplier on the top left. Well, let's get this out of the way. Um, the green's a one charge. Let's at least break the five, because then it's gonna be five, six, seven. We won't be able to use the um, multiply gem move again, but as long as we don't cascade, we'll at least be able to hit the other two blue moves. Oh, and we cascaded. Three greens dropped in. Whatever. And there's a lot of randomness to this move set. There is. And now, like, we've taken a whole bunch of blues and greens off the board. Hopefully some pop back in. Let's see. Let's get rid of... I don't know if this will help. There. Let's do this. I want to make sure I get up on the first click. All right, but we, I, I've always been able to finish them off by turn two. So we need two blues and a green. Yeah, see again, same freaking problem. Let's try to do what we did last time and at least get the multiply gems out again, or not out again, um, that one move that gives us damage per Oh, because this is two blues and a green. Oh, okay. It just has a multiply gem on it. I did. That's why I didn't want to. Oh, come on. What's up? They just want to keep falling. This is probably the first time I haven't won on turn two. But it is what it is. Like, cascades happen, man. Nothing you can do about that. Let me get them on the next one. Now, this should be more than enough. This should be at least 500. Yeah, 500 on the dot, perfect. Let's see. And since the pin bar is so far over, let's just take this, because that's 12 notches. Make sure we get this win. Let's just hit it and take a swipe, because the match is now over. We just got pretty unlucky. Twice in a row we got pretty unlucky. There was nothing I could have done about it. It's just what dropped in is what caused the cascade. I think both times it was green gems that came on, came sliding on in there. All right, we're trying this one more time before I move on to a new, another move set. So I want to give you a good look at like what it can be. All right, come on, no whammies. No whammies, I'm not even gonna heal. I'll heal later. That last match was probably the worst one I've had so far, to be honest with you. Jeez, man, see the board is just not being my friend. Hopefully that blue gets a multiplier, it did. Oh, but another red got in on. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. So this is what you're gonna have to do in this situation where there's no two blues and a green. 
you can still take this top corner blue hopefully not cause a cascade like we keep wanting but we get our green and it's going to be five six seven eight we're going to move the pin bar eight notches perfect now we get to do it all over again and use this move again it gets stronger every time and now we're just going to try to blow up the board A lot of multiply gems this time. Well, that's gonna break anyway. Sweet. So 400K reduced to 300K. That's probably not gonna be enough. This is usually a turn to win against the five star silver unless you get supremely lucky and you were able two turns in a row to catch the two blues and a green by because by the second time you do it it's up to like 800k so you do like 250 500 and then um what's it 750 on the next one actually it might even double after double up after that but it's so hard to do. It's so random that you're gonna get to break two blues and a green, and then the multiply gems are usually everywhere by then. It's very rare that it happens, I promise you. It's only happened a couple of times. So let's try something new, okay? Let's try something new. Oops, what was I doing? I don't wanna switch. I wanna manage. Now the problem I have with this next move set is the seven charge so we're gonna bring in the snowfall gems and the destroy the top row we're gonna keep the green move okay and then you're gonna need to and this is another reason I don't like it because now we're needing MP trainers and if you want this to be turn one in a feud you lose um, Sin Cara, which is a huge, 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 huge hit. And then you can leave in, him in, but you want to actually bring in... Afa would be probably the best, but I'm going to bring in Hogan. Because Afa gives you, like, what, 20% to the black moves, or the blue gems, excuse me. And let's roll like this. Now the problem is, it's not going to be turn one in a feud. You're going to have to take a swipe first. It will show loaded on the screen, but that's because I have the plus three tour perk for MP, and it's not going to be in a feud. Now, you could use double MP trainers, but watch what happens. Like, if you wouldn't have Sin Cara, um, you're just not going to make enough gems. So, all right, let's do one. Yeah, let's play it right. Okay. The purples would be one short. Actually, the six charge would be loaded, but if because we didn't get a that purple on the top left, um, the multiply gem on it, it's not going to do what we need it to do. So let's just uh, let's just take our swipe. Um, let's just take these greens out of here. Oh, we should have taken that row rake of purple because now he's going to take it. Oh well. All right, so on your second turn, you're going to throw them out there again. Now you're going to pick the wherever the most multiplied um, things are. And let's actually go right kind of in the middle because we'll connect to that um, X break. So we'll go right here. And then we're going to destroy this row and everything below it will turn blue. So that was turn two, 750 reduced to 300 or uh, to 600k. I expected it to be a little bit stronger, and he's probably gonna get up because that's what he does. It'll definitely get stronger at five star silver, especially when you max your levels out because he's a gem guy. The problem I don't I have with this one is it doesn't reload. So now we just have to take a swipe, and now we're gonna take a hit. Now, if you do this in a feud with double MP trainer, I am not gonna show you because it's gonna be a long ass match 
and I don't want to do that. But just imagine now you're going to be loaded for turn one, but you're only going to have half the multiply gems. So you're going to have half the damage. So that, that 750 reduced to six will be half and you won't reload. So it will not work that way. You're, you're going to get stuck. Oops. I don't want to do that. So now you're just doing the same thing over again. And this should be enough to finish him. So let's, uh, let's catch, there's a, a column with two fives and an X. So we'll catch the edge of that. And then on the other side, we'll catch another five. This should be a pretty nice damn hit. Again, I'm not gonna show you how it's gonna look in a feud with double MP trainers because it's, you're just not gonna like it. Please don't do it. So, that should finish him off. But you can see that you can see the gem damage. I was expecting this move set to hit for one mil. I really, really was. And then it would have been fine that it was turn two. Or if you had like a plus MP lane bonus, I would have been all right with that too, but it just doesn't. And I have, what, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 72 and a half uh, all gem damage and another like 12% blue gem damage. So I'm at like almost 100% to my blue gems and it's just not strong enough. Here, let me show you another way to do it though. Um, if you bring in Sasha gem damage and then you bring in Memrock instead it all that this also hits pretty dang hard too because now we're getting an extra multiplier to one of some of them plus we're making our blue gems a lot stronger so let's uh let's check this out and then we'll move on to something else and I, I, got, I, I can't stress this enough, turn two. It will be turn two. So don't fight somebody that's gonna hit you turn one and kill you, <laughs> like to avoid those. But what you can do is say take off um, AFA or Hall of Fame Hogan like I have on right now and use like Johnny, or you can't use a drip drip. You can use like uh, Cesaro and chase people that use green gem. My apologies guys, video cut out. Um, I was just about to show you that same move set with Sasha. So let me show it to you real quick and then I'll show you it in action. It's, uh, or you already seen the move set. Yeah, so we're gonna have wood, so we're still turn two, but Sasha and Memrock. And I actually uh, went through the match and it was like identical damage. It was 750K reduced to 600K. <laughs> so let's see what happens the second time through. And I'll just have to splice this together later. I hate when I get thrown off like that though. It bugs me. All right, let's, um, man, I hope he doesn't take those blues. You know, sometimes he chases yellows. Let's see if he takes that yellow on the left. He took the green because it had an X break on it. That's fine. All right. Oh, I forgot to put the damn multiply gems out. Man, my bad. Now I got to take an extra turn. All right. You know what? Let's just do this. And we'll take an extra turn. That was my bad. And now he's going to take the blue or the purple. All right. So this would have been turn two. I forgot to put them out. That's my, that's my stupidness. So this will be turn two. Um, so now we're going to see... This is a tough one. Because there's so much less multiply gems out there. Let's go like to the middle here. And I know that I'm not going to recycle. Let's see what happens. This isn't the best. Alright, cool. We got a little lucky bounce right there. Yeah, see, see? Same thing. 750 reduced to 630. So on turn, on turn two, he's going to get up, but luckily we were able to refill the purple. So this will be a, th a turn three win. You know, 630K is really borderline against people um, at five star silver if you're going to keep them down or not. I like to get up to about 750 and, and even have some gem defense. 
So this is a turn two setup though. Um, let's see, let's just take this because there's two over here. Oh, I guess I could have went to the left side. I actually should have went to the left side. Oh, well, he's going to hopefully not get up from this. But now we only have one set of multiply gems out because this is the turn after. See how much less it hit for? Let's see if he can get up. Oh, Jesus. Really? Now I got to sit through this match again? And we don't have a purple? Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And if I set up a break to get to my purple, he's going to probably take it. So we're just going to have to survive at this point. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, like, this, is a, this isn't a bad moveset, but I expected it to hit for a million. I really, really did. We got a purple yet? Come on now. Or at least give me an X break to break a purple. Give me some love. Nothing? You know what, Triple H? Now he's going to make all these gems into... Let's do that. Because now he's going to make a whole bunch. And we might not even live through this. That stinks. On the last match with the same exact setup, I actually ended up winning turn one. And then the video cut out, so now I have to redo it, and it's not looking too good. Oh, <laughs> uh, can't win them all. Are we gonna get up? I don't want to take that five match over there, or the the purple match. I need that <laughs> so I can win the match. Is there nothing else? Oh, jeez. Are we gonna get up? Ah, oh, we're not even gonna get up. All right. Well, you guys saw. You guys saw what you needed to see hopefully if I didn't stall in the beginning because I forgot to use the green move maybe that would have went a little different but you saw the big hit on the second turn third turn in this case and you get the point so now let's do a completely different move set and build I really did expect that to hit for a mil I really did so now you could bring in this other move. Oh, did I even read those moves to you? I've been so bad at that lately. It was the European European uppercut, seven charge purple, deal 26k damage, choose a four by one area to make into snowfall gems, which when modified, all gems blow it into blue gems when broken by you. And then you got a six charge purple, the standing moonsault, deal 13k damage, destroy the top row. And we're gonna take those out now. So what we're gonna bring in is this green and we're going to bring back this move in and for the entourage we're going to need steel he should be because i've been playing with these moves yeah he's right up top and then we're going to also bring in Sin Car. Well, you kind of want to use... I'm going to show you a couple ways to run this. If you can have more blue gems, he should be up top too. So Seth, the acro. And then we're going to bring... We're going to leave Rock in there. And then we're going to leave Hogan in there as well. But we could also use... Now, you know what? Let's take Hogan out. And let's bring in Z Taker. And you could also use the Miz. You could do a lot of different things with this. But you're going to have the same problem. It's a seven charge, so it will not be turn one in a feud. It will be a turn two situation. And by then, you've put so many multiply gems out, it's going to be hard for you to make your five match. So you can reuse the green move, a five match on a swipe, but I'll try to make it work. So you're going to put these out and then you're going to use the blue move. These are both one charges. And then what you can do is try to make a huge mess out of the board. See, the problem I have with this also is it, you can't, 
you know what? This isn't, there's, I don't really like this moveset. Let's try something else. Let's do this. Let's break this row. That's gonna break, so let's make it blue. That's gonna break, so let's make it blue. Let's break these. And then, what else? Let's break these. And turn all of our multiply gems blue. So, 400k. That's not gonna get it done against a five star bronze, or a five star silver, it's just, it's not enough damage. And another thing you could do is try to set up a five match and reuse these moves. Let me show you. This, this would probably work better with Sin Cara, so we'll use Sin Cara on the next one. Let's see if we get lucky with an X break on something we can break. All right, we have one, which will break the others. Okay, so we could try it now. So now you can set up a five match. One, two, three, four. And then you could even set up a row break if you have enough. And then that'll break all of that, which would be pretty cool too for the pin. All right, cool, let's try that. So now we're gonna take our swipe, hopefully not cause a cascade. Beautiful. Now everything's ready again. We get to put them out again. Then you can use this. Now we got a bunch of uh, multiply gems out there and now we're gonna destroy the heck out of the board. See, that was uh, not too much damage, but enough, but check this out. Boom. That's not too shabby, but that was also turn two and the damage isn't like overwhelmingly amazing. But it's easier to reload also. Let's see if it's enough. Yep, we got the win there. So you could do the same thing with Sin Cara, but the problem is you don't really get to use, like make that row break a blues, or column break a blues that we made. Um, you can still do the five match, but then you're hoping that there's an X break on something that's gonna blow the board up for you, but you are gonna get more damage out of that blue move. So let's do it that way. Let's uh, bring Sin Cara in. But then you're only making four gems, so you almost want to bring in, um, here, let me show you. I don't have Hall of Fame Sting at, uh, at 9K. We're going to use the same move set, but we're going to get rid of him now. Let's bring in Sin Cara. Where you at? And then somebody that's going to make, we want the taker. Let's get rid of Rock. Move generate. Let's bring. I have Hogan, so we'll use Hogan. But you could use Hall of Fame Sting. But now we get to make five gems. But the problem in a feud is with the perk that takes away the gems. This is going to get hurt a lot. I would say the best time for this move set is in a feud when you have a hundred percent multiply gem damage. Not when you get plus one or plus two on the multiplies, but the actual percentage. That first move set would be freaking strong. So put these things out. Then use the one charge. Now we're gonna set up a five match and get to do it again. And hopefully get some X breaks on the board. But not in our way. Like this looks a lot in my way. <laughs> like totally up in my way. I want to go here, but I can't. Um, oh man. This is like all up in my grill. Eesh. One, two, three, four. And then let's just do something that's going to be on a multiply gem. I don't really know. Whatever, let's just put it there. So when I swipe that, that's gonna drop down. That should be cool. So I have to swipe the purple. Ah, oh, dang it, didn't work.
Oh, and we didn't reload it. That sucked. All right, well, it's risky. It's super risky with all these multiply gems. You can't control as well, like, where you want to put stuff. You know what I mean? That's, what's, that's what just happened to us. That's not where I wanted to go. It's just where I had to go. All right, but we should get out of this by the next turn. Let's see. We'll take this green match. And then our next time, this move should be pretty dang strong. So you've pretty much seen all the moves now. I would say my favorite one is the first one. So let's do it a couple more times and see if we can get it to work. Or you're going to catch those uh, two blues and a green twice on turn one and get like max damage out of them. Because this, this, this should be pretty strong right here. Yeah, 330. And we don't want him to get another turn. So I'm going to try the five break. One more time. That's going to turn into a wild card. So that's okay. And let's set up a row break for the future and put that. Okay, let's try this. Now I need to swipe. I need my wild card to be there, so I need to swipe this so that gets rid of that. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, oh, we got lucky. Two blacks dropped in, but we got mad lucky. All right, look how much stronger this gets. And because we set up the row break, we're gonna like make a hot mess out of the board. And this alone is gonna put him in danger probably because there's so many multiply gems out now. Yeah, he's got 20K health left <laughs> and that'll do it. All right, well, that's another way you can do it. There, he's, he's very flexible. I would just say that nine times, like eight times out of ten, he's a turn two uh, winner. So you can use the purple move set and run him that way and win turn two and hit for like 750k reduced. Sometimes it won't be reduced. Um, if you use that move set when there is a lane bonus for a feud that has plus two on like a multiply gem, that would be really nice. You could play around with your coaches and trainers. You could use Sasha. You could use Afa, Mamrock, Miz. It's very, very flexible card. I would just say most of the time he's going to win on turn two because of the move charge. If the, if the two purples were six charge, man, oh, shit. Forget about it. Oh, and that um, other green was a seven charge, multiple, uh, multiple forearms, <laughs> 25K damage, choose four gems to make in a blue. That was that one. So let's bring back in the choose and we'll go with the optimal setup and see if we can't get this thing to work right. So we're gonna bring back in Balor. And we're gonna bring, bring back in the Miz. And let's leave Z Taker on. He's a little bit better than Rock for this. Um, so now we need gem damage. Oops, nope. We need gem damage. The Miz. There he is. And this is by far my favorite. Like by far. It's just hard to it's just hard to make it work the third time on this on turn one. It gets really dicey with all the multiply gems out and then needing the right colors in the right spot. It gets dicey. But if we can get it to work, it looks fantastic. Like we have two blues and a green right there in the middle, but see the, the green got sucked up because of a multiply gem. That's gonna happen. Especially when you're putting so many of them out there. Um, yeah, we have to take it. We'll still get another turn if we don't cascade, but we won't get to do it the third time, which is when it gets the strongest. You know what I'm saying? Because now this was up to like, what, like 500k almost? Yeah, 450k. And now we just have to make a mess out of the board. And we'll take these.
Boom, boom. Let me get that. So we did 1.5 mil turn one. Not too shabby, right? Because he started at 1.7 mil HP. He's down to 200K. So that was pretty sexy, and we didn't, it didn't even work the way we wanted it to, right? Yeah, I would say this by far is his best moveset. Now, don't get me wrong. It's very, very good. He's very, very strong. Um, I just don't like the randomness to this moveset. Because there's, there's times you don't even get the blue and the green and reload and do all the stuff you want to do. Or a cascade happens like the first couple times we tried it. That was like the first time we've turned one them, right? One of them went into turn three because I kept getting a cascade. So there's a lot of randomness involved to this moveset. Right, let's see if we can't get this to go off three times. We got a lot of blues on this one. I see two of them that we can use, but I just know they're going to get covered. <laughs> oh, one of them already got covered. Whatever, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> one of them got covered right away. I was looking at this. But, yeah, no. So we can still take this. And then use it again. Yeah, see, now there's multiply gems on all the blues that I need. So you're going to have to just pin at this point. I guess maybe you could take a green. Is there a green and a blue only? Without all these multiply gems? There is. Let's see if it works. Let's try it. This is like mad risky. And there's no multiply. Oh, there is a multiply gem. Let's try it. Let's go for this one. We're not going to refill the choose to destroy move, though. But let's see how strong it gets. Okay, cool. So we get to at least see how strong it is. Let's see if it finishes off his health. He's at 780k. Look at all these multiply gems and X breaks. <laughs> this is sick. Dang! What? That is G. All right, I like it a little bit more now. <laughs> and then we can just take a swipe and it's over. That is G. So let's see. That was uh, 500K. So we did on top of the 1.7 mil he has. We did 2.3 mil turn one. I am ending the video on that note. <laughs> Drop the microphone. <laughs> that was super sexy. All right, guys. Um, so maybe he's a little bit better than I was originally thinking or seeing because that worked out perfectly. But you saw how many times it took me to get there. But the last two matches were the, by far the two best. <laughs> That's awesome. So I am done now. Guys, I really enjoyed making this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. Leave me a like, subscribe, and comment down there at the bottom. And yeah, let's uh, let's make some more. I'll see you. I'll see you for the feud. I'm gonna do a feud prep, and then hopefully not forget to do a feud video. Cause the last time I did not do one. <laughs> I was going so damn hard for the feud. I finished fourth, and I was chasing the Miz, and I didn't get there. And luckily I got him, but I didn't take the time out of my schedule to make the video. So I will try harder. I promise. So all right, guys. See you on the next one. Beast mode out.